close. Don't close. No, no, no. Okay. Whoa. I don't think that was supposed to happen. How am I getting away with this? <laughs> that is Sean Burke, and that's Susie Ruffle. They're travelling across my beautiful Ireland, searching for new stand-up comedy material. The gig is booked. All the tickets are sold, but they've written no jokes, none. Welcome to Stand Up Road Trip. Here we are, back in the road again on our Irish road trip. Yes, two friends. A camper van, beautiful scenery, and the stand-up gig on the horizon. I know, how exciting. What should I expect from my first visit to the west coast of Ireland? Okay, it's picturesque. Yeah. It's located on the west coast of Ireland. Yes. It's picturesque. Sean, are we going somewhere else that you don't know? Yeah, yeah. But you know nothing about Ireland. No, no, they, they made a huge mistake by booking me. Well, we're here now. Mm -hmm. So let's just let most of it. Onwards. <laughs> The glorious Wild Atlantic Way snakes along almost all of Ireland's west coast, revealing some truly breathtaking scenery that's almost entirely unspoilt. I can't believe that you lived in Ireland for so long and you didn't see so much of this beauty. I mean, I knew there was a whole ocean on the other side of this country. I mean, literally everyone other than you. Okay. It looks like we're arriving somewhere. Yeah. Okay, we're... We're, we're off the beaten track. We, we are doing something funny. Yeah. Something like farmy. I've got it. I can feel it in my fingers. Okay. Milk and cows, perhaps? I mean, to be fair, you just put on the suction cups and then jobs are good. You, know. you don't, you, they, they have udders. Yeah. Oh, you put suction cups on the udders? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you were referring to their udders as suction cups. And I thought, <laughs> you know, the, uh, God. the uh, suction cups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susie. I'm Blonnet. We can see sheep. We can see some sheds. What exactly is going on here? We have um, a flock of purebred Galway sheep. These guys. That's them. You can see them out there. So Working you can hard. notice they're white, they're mm -hmm. woolly. Yep. Um, and they produce wool. I see. I mean, it adds up. We use the wool to make uh, iconic Irish Aran wool jumpers. Really? Beautiful. Oh. A good comedy routine is like a good jumper, layered and warm. So rather than write some actual jokes for their stand-up gig, Sean and Susie decide to make jumpers instead. Hmm. For no particularly good reason, their first job is herding some sheep. Think dog. Okay. Think dog. All right, I'm going to have a piss then. <laughs> Hi, sheep. All right, closing time, lads. Hi, friends. Finish your drinks. Come on, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Have you no homes to go to? Come on. Don't be like this, come on. We're all friends, we're all friends. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah! Come on. Oh, hang on, there's a few lingerers. Yeah, that's it. All together, please. Round there. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Don't let them out, don't let them out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stay no, firm, don't. stay firm. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Blo, please Blow. tell us. What do we do now? Did you ever hear of the word bonning? Yeah. Yeah. Bonning in Irish means little white. Ah. And these were known as the white sheep all over Ireland, and that's why the jumpers became called, and the wool is actually called bonning. So can you pronounce that, Susie? Bonning. 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 That's your first word in Irish. <laughs> Woohoo! That's good. It'd be Sean's as well, <laughs> if you uh, if you tell him. <laughs> We've got a little bit more work for you to do. You're not finished yet. Now oh, you've okay. got to go and skirt the fleece. So come on with me. All we're right. Skirting. Let's go. OK, we're going to skirt, skirt the fleece. Skirt. Yeah. Skirt. You know, we're skirting the fleece. You know what they say, yeah, it's you know. slang. We're going to skirt when the fleece. When in Ireland, skirt the fleece. <laughs> right, what is skirting? OK, see these dirty bits? Mm -hmm. the you don't want that in your, yeah. in your wool. Yeah. So we're going to All take right. those right. out. <laughs> So Where that's we... basically what we're going to do, and we're going to get it ready mm -hmm. to uh, spin, so we can spin it. Right, so we're just separating the crap from the good stuff. Yep. Like writing jokes, exactly. basically. Exactly. <laughs> now onto spinning some yarn, in order to further demonstrate how fundamentally unsuited comedians are at anything yeah. remotely practical. Yeah. Hard. Right. Put down hard. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and now I've made a jumper. <laughs> That was so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say push, OK? OK, OK. All right, ready? <clears throat> push. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh, this time. <laughs> you know what they say, 85th time's a charm. Yeah, you got it. Are you got to think of so many things. <laughs> oh, for a moment. You and did good. Look at this. It's look beautiful. Oh, oh, gorgeous yeah. stuff. <laughs> and finally, knitting although I'm not sure either of them should really be allowed anything sharp. Um, so what we do is we go in through the door. Yeah. OK. Around the back. <laughs> yeah. Out the window. So you go out the window. All right. And off jumps Sean. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Through the window. The window. Mm. It's not the window. You got half a window. I think I crawled in <laughs> through, through the letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go again. <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna have a jumper in no time. Right. You're on your own. Easy. Easy peasy. All right. Oh, well done. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm really happy with this first go. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I'm... Nice, looking good. Yeah, you too. Ready. Feels like we should do sort of a... <sighs> like a catalogue shoot. I was thinking catalogue shoot. Shall we? <laughs> this is a new jumper, don't wipe your nose on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That was so much fun. Yeah, seriously. But, do you know what? I'm severely dyslexic, and let me tell you, Irish names are a minefield. And so I just call everyone Babe. <laughs> <laughs> the next stop in search of comedy inspiration is the vibrant city of Galway. It feels like there's... something's happening, isn't it? It's a cool okay. place to be. Well, it's a bit of atmosphere. Oh, oh wow. Drunk in the street, sure. Big deal. All right. It's great. Yeah, it? fancy a bit of music. Yes, I would love a bit of traditional Irish music. We're Let's spoiled go. for choice here. That's clean. Since I was probably a teenager. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really. And do you, do you come here every week? I'm coming here all the time. Really? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's the heart and soul of traditional music in the city. Anyone can come in and sit down and play. Yeah. 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 Everyone is welcome in this bar. Yeah. Everyone is indeed welcome, but that warm hospitality is about to be tested. As Susie and Sean join the jam session. Oh no! This looks like a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm, I'm speeding up and I don't want to. I mean, that's the problem. Good for you. Yup. <laughs> Sean and Susie eventually stop playing, thank goodness, and head to a comedy club in Limerick. It's time for the gig. Can Sean and Susie turn their West Coast road trip into some rip-roaring gags? Will the audience roll in the aisles or walk out the door? I have no idea, but let's find out. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we went to a wool uh, manufacturer the other day and they were showing us how to make that. And uh, this lovely lady, Blonnet, who worked there, was talking about the different types of wool they make. And she had me and Susie there, and she was like, this one is called Bonin, which means little white in Irish. And then she says to Susie, congratulations, you've just learned your first Irish word. And then Susie turns to me and says, yours too, Sean. <laughs> like, Elga is terrible. But uh, as they say in Irish, say la vie. I've loved so much about being here. It has been so lovely. I've got to say, every single person that we've met has been genuinely lovely. They've helped us with filming. We've chatted to them. It's been wonderful. I have had one issue. I've had so much trouble with the spelling of the names. Now, let me explain. I am severely dyslexic. So let me explain how my dyslexia has played havoc with me this week. <sighs> I had only read the name. 
said, you've got to go and meet this person. Here's her name. I read it on the little call sheet. I'm meeting this person. That's Cammy. I'm going to go and meet Cammy. So I go and sit down. There's a few of you ahead of me. Okay. I'll go and sit down. I'm waiting for Cammy. I'm there. I'm waiting for Cammy. Come on, Cammy. Let's have a chat. Okay. Someone comes and joins me. Hello, I'm Quiva. I said, hello, Quiva. I'm Susie. I'm a bit busy at the minute. And uh, she, 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 she's staring at me. She keeps looking at me. She goes, I'm Quiva. I go, I'm Susie. <laughs> I think, I think, you're not ruffle, you still got it, don't worry. The birds are still flirting with you, don't worry too much, it's all right, you don't look too old, the Botox is working. And then she says again to me, she says, I'm Quiva. I said, all right, love, I'm married. Okay? <laughs> then she burst out laughing. I'm like, how dare you? I've got a very good marriage. Anyway, she burst out laughing. I said, I said, why are you laughing? She said, because I'm Quiva. I said, I know that you're Quiva. I am waiting for Cammy. Okay? She said, I'm Cammy. I said, well, now I know you're a liar because you've just told me that you're Quiva. You can't be Quiva and Cammy. She said, I am Quiva and Cammy. Whilst this is happening, Sean, he's been taking me all around. He doesn't have a clue about the place. But we've had a blast. He is rolling on the floor laughing. He can't believe, because obviously Quiva is Quiver. That is how you spell Quiver. Then Sean bet me a hundred euro that I couldn't spell his niece's name, Maeve. I thought I will have a bit of that. A hundred euro. I've seen the Maeve Finchie books. I can spell it. M A V E V E. No, I am a hundred euro down. It is M A E B. A huge surprise, and then a slap in the face with a H. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Fair play to you both. The audience loved it. Proof that my beautiful Ireland can bring out the best in literally anyone. Well done. We're done. It's the end. We packed a lot in. We really did. But you know what the real Irish road trip for me was? What? The friends we made along the way. Oh. Do you know where they are? That seems harsh. That's unfair. No. Should we enjoy some Irish weather? Yeah. Don't say anything to me about not being able to take a joke. Come on. Actually, I quite like it. I don't mind it at all. Uh, more help. Oh, my God. There's a lot of puddles. Yeah. Where are we going to now? Oh, we're just going to walk to Shannon Airport. Oh, OK, cool. <laughs> <laughs>